Hello. Hey, Seth. Hi, Mary. Happy Tuesday. Why, thank you. Happy Tuesday to you, too. <laughs> Happy Tuesday this lovely Friday. <laughs> yeah, it's not really Friday. People listening to this might think it's Friday, but they're wrong because it's Tuesday. Because we're we're cheating and recording this early because... Because um, Happy Thanksgiving! Yes, exactly. We like to have days off. You know? I like days off. Yeah. I like not working. It's my favorite thing to do. My favorite <laughs> thing to do next to talking to Stacy Farber. Right. Talking to Stacy Farber. We're going to call Stacy Farber right now uh, because um, because of we want her to like us. <laughs> yeah. We're calling her right before vacation when she's in her like first semester of school. <laughs> and she's, and she yeah. probably has like 8 million things to do. Right. I she's, feel bad. She's probably writing a paper about... You know, the role of women in classical mythology, and she's going to stop and, and talk and to I'm us. I'm going to make her talk about shopping. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the reason we want to talk to her is because she was on the very first podcast, uh, like back in June or something back like that. Back in the olden days when uh, it was crackly and weird. <laughs> right, and we didn't know what we were doing. Unlike now, when we don't know what we're doing, but it sounds pretty good at least. Um, and on that very first podcast... The idea for Stacy's New York 101 was born, and uh, that is true. And it actually made it through. And um, uh, yeah, came afterwards, to people like people emailed me and were like, "Hey, do you think she was serious about wanting to do a reality show?" And I was like, "Totally." And then you were like, "Totally." And then they contacted her and were like, "Were you serious about doing a reality show?" And she was, uh, "No." <laughs> 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 but. Uh, but she did it anyway. She did it anyway. Uh, four episodes of it in the click. And this week is the last chance for you to watch them. So that's why I wanted to call her now. Because right. uh, you won't have they another chance after this week. week. They're going away. So take advantage of the long weekend to... Um, to have their own personal Stacy marathon. Right. Inflicted. Four Stacy New York 101s in a row. Which is all told is like the same length as an episode of Degrassi. So it's, it's, right. it's not a big chunk of time there. But they're really good. There's helicopters yeah, yeah. and puppets and pizza and, and dog poop. And she's adorable, so of course they're awesome. Right. So, uh, yeah, so let's go call her, find out let's how life Barber in New York is. On the okay. Okay. I can be calm. All right, relax. Because I'm not going to call her if you're going to be singing this stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm calling her. Hello? Hey, Stacy. Hi. It's Mary and Seth calling. Hey, guys. Hey, Stacy. How are you? Doing. I'm okay. How are you? Good. I can't believe you're willing to talk to us this week. Is it? Are you crazy? Is it like, do you have papers due before you have to go oh, home? Oh, yes. Or? Yes, <laughs> I have many things going on, but I can always make time for my dear friends at the end. You're so sweet. <laughs> Yeah. What's the, I mean, what's the plan? Are you going back to Toronto or? Well, right now I'm pouring a glass of orange juice. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm up to right now. Uh, no, I'm not actually going home, even though we have like three days off school. Like uh -huh. Today's the last day of the week. Um, I have a friend from Toronto. One of my best girlfriends is going to come and visit me here. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so it should be a good weekend, but I'm not really, I'm not going home and I'm not really celebrating the holiday. Well, yeah, because you guys have your Thanksgiving in, like, October, right? Yeah. And so, okay, explain to me how how does Black Friday work in Canada if it's not the day after Thanksgiving? <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no. There's, okay, this Friday is, like, the biggest shopping day of the year. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and it's, like, the official begin of the holiday season. Oh. So... It's when it like if you, I mean, your friend coming in from Toronto, you're pretty stoked because the two of you can go. It, like like the every sales store has sales. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Awesome! Yeah. I had no idea. Oh my god. That's exciting. <gasps> I'm so excited for you. <laughs> your very yeah. first Black Friday. <laughs> and speaking of that, I was just watching the the last of the Stacey New York 101 episodes and um. When you talked to the shoe therapist. Oh, and she was hilarious. <laughs> totally. And she picked you out those cute, those like wedged Mary Janes. They look like those, the new Chloe's, or I guess last uh -huh. time Chloe's. Um, are those actually comfortable? Can you walk around town in those, or did you end up getting them? They're very comfortable. Um, 
I mean, they're more comfortable than wearing heels because it's like a, a wedge, so there's no separation between the ball of your foot and the back of your foot, so it's like not that difficult to walk in them. Um, but I've I've rolled on my ankle a couple times because, Ooh. yeah, I kind of just fall over. Um, but that's that's the price you pay for <laughs> looking shoes. And Lauren actually was here this weekend. Uh-huh. We uh, were signing in Freehold, New Jersey, oh, yeah, New which Jersey. was amazing. It was so much fun. Awesome. Um, but she was in this weekend, and she bought the very same pair as me in black. <gasps> Oh, oh, so cute. Yeah. I love that you guys. I let her get shoes. them because she's in Toronto, so she can rock the shoes on the other side of the border. Right. Totally. You can't really run down, like, run down the subway steps in those, I would think. No. <laughs> but I, I, if I knew I was taking the subway then on a day, then I wouldn't wear those shoes. You have to okay. plan your outfits accordingly. Right, right. <laughs> Unless you're Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> so wait, so how, so the signing was awesome. How are the books? How are the graphic novels? They're so cool. Like, I, I haven't read the second one because um, I'm not on the cover. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I, I read the first one. Uh, and it's just so weird to, like, see my face, like, as a cartoon. It uh-huh. really freaks me out. But it's so exciting. So, so you've been in New York for what, like three months now? Is that how long it's been? Yeah, since the last weekend in August. So, so like overall, you know, what's your real opinion of the city outside of what we heard in your in your uh, your webisodes there? What do you what do you really think about it? My real opinion is that I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, could you live there I, forever? Do you think? I don't know. I, I, it's hard to say. It depends. Like I. I think about work and, like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing when I'm older. So, I mean, a lot of what I'm interested in, like, the arts and acting and visual arts and writing, like, that's all, like, perfect, like, if you're here. Like, New York is just great for all those things. Um, So, for work purposes, like, there's definitely reason to stay here. Um, so, yeah, but I, I don't know, like, if I were to have a family one day, which I don't even want to think about because I'll just throw up, but, <laughs> like, if I were to have children <laughs> um, or, or uh, even, like, getting married and stuff, like, it depends where all of that takes me, And but right now I want to have fun and go to school in a different city and and get away from living at home and having that college experience, and that's what pulled me here. Well, unfortunately, Stacey, you're going to have to make a decision right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was told I got a call. <laughs> I have to sign the papers, sign my life away tomorrow. Exactly. Uh, has, been, has New York been what you expected it to be? Or has it been a surprise? I didn't really expect anything. Like, I, I didn't... I thought a lot about it, like, when I was applying for school, and, like, I just really, really wanted to go. I didn't focus on details, and, like, I got really nervous and hesitant right before I moved, and it was my birthday, and we were filming, so I I wasn't really thinking about it. I just sort of went, Mm -hmm. Um, and when I got here, like, that that first week after my mom and sister moved me in and they left, I just sort of looked around and felt like, whoa, I'm actually here. Like, all that hard work with the SATs and applying and all of that paid off and all the strings I had to pull to be able to miss filming episodes for a bit and it all worked and it just felt so weird that it actually all came together. I am, um, I, you know, I moved to, to New York to go to college too. And I, I, what I most remember about reacting to the city when I first lived there first year or two is that it was so big that I had a hard time sort of taking it in. And I ended up like staying in a very small, like five block radius of where I lived. But I remember that, that whole feeling of just being completely overwhelmed by it when I was, when yeah. I was first there. I feel that too. But at the same time, like, 
you always hear about how big New York is and how crazy it is and and all the people and the stores and the lights and and everything and and so at the same time like I find it's a lot smaller than than it's made out to be in movies and and when when people just talk about the city like it it actually it feels smaller sometimes like like cabs are cheap cheaper <laughs> than Toronto they're like right. double in Toronto for some reason um, and so it costs like ten dollars to go from one end of the city to the other, and like especially you if can... you don't tip them enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> no, uh, but you can subway everywhere, and and I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it's not as big as as it seems when you don't live here. Like yeah, once I mean, you physically... figure out where you're going, it's a lot easier. Um, I want to ask you about the you're volunteering at like a dog shelter Mm -hmm. um because i'm thinking about getting a dog and i wondered if you had any advice on picking one out oh my god just you have to get one yeah dogs are so (laughs) great they're so sweet and they're you can train them and they really are man's best friend and they're so cute what do you what kind of dog do you have uh i have a golden retriever oh yeah, his name is Cooper, and he's small for his age or whatever he's supposed to be, and we call him Mini Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Um, okay, wait, let's talk about shopping some more. Um, <laughs> what uh, we're putting together a gift guide this year, and if you have any good gift ideas. Uh, particularly for a boyfriend, I think that's going to be the area that's hardest to shop for. What's a good? Do I have any ideas? Yeah. Um. Well, I think what I'm going to get my boyfriend. He really likes Family Guy, and I've been eyeing. I think it's at Urban Outfitters, but there's this like Family Guy, one of those big trivia games. Oh. Um. And he just, like, knows every episode and every line, so I think that would be fun. And he also, he lives in a house at the at the college he goes to. He has, like, a house with a bunch of guys, like all his friends, and they all watch Family Guy, too. So I think that will be fun for them to play. Yeah, it'll be a hit. Yeah. He'll, then all of his roommates will love you, too, and uh-huh. you whenever you come visit. And plus, yeah, and then you don't have to play it with him, <laughs> which is a big plus. Dude. True. We'll just go on helicopter rides and yeah, <laughs> of, of our college in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, I guess we should let you go. I know you must have, like, a crazy busy week. What Do you have paper like uh, do you have work to do with school I have so much work I have like all these issues now because well you don't have to cut this out it's all right this is sort of (laughs) therapy for Stacy but um (laughs) I yesterday my teacher one of my teachers decided to give like evaluations and Mm -hmm. it's we haven't been graded on anything. We've just been handing in work and getting feedback because I'm like in writing. Mm -hmm. So I haven't received any marks, but like all his feedback was amazing, like, like great and constructive criticism and whatever. So I had no reason to expect like anything lower than an A, honestly. And like, I'm on scholarship at the school and like, I'm a good student and um, I've been missing classes to film, like to go home and film. So yesterday he gives out the evaluations with like four weeks left, like no time at all. And it says, you currently have an F. <gasps> yeah. So I freaked out. And now I have to figure all this out because I think the main reason, like it really doesn't match up with the feedback he was giving me because I wasn't, I didn't doubt myself at all. I thought I'd do really well. Um, But I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I was filming Degrassi. So now I have to meet with advisors and the teacher and sort all of this out. And it's just a mess. And apparently, I'm not the queen of multitasking oh, like I thought I was. Oh. 
It sounds that's... like one of the, it sounds like a horrible anxiety dream that I used to have. Yeah. <laughs> It is. So to all the kids that are in school right now, like, it's hard work and don't think that I'm not failing because I am. Oh no, it's going to get sorted out. Um, yeah, like, he's not really going to give you enough. I think he just wanted to shock you and make you. Maybe, but it's not all glamour over here <laughs> at Barber's apartment. <laughs> there have been some tears over here. So. Oh, Daisy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. Um, real quick before we let you go, because I know some people are like have just gone into Degrassi withdrawal because we, you know, we just kind of like entered a hiatus here. So right, I've been watching people? on the end. Yeah, I finally don't... get the end. Yeah. Oh, right. That's awesome. So, uh, what can you tell us about what's coming up? In 2007, yeah. when someone dies. I saw that commercial. <laughs> um, I love that commercial. <laughs> um, it's it's a really I haven't seen any of it. Like obviously I've read I've read them and been in a few of the episodes, but I haven't seen anything from the next chunk of episodes. So mm -hmm. I can't tell you much about them. Um, but I'm just as excited to see them as all the fans are, and they're they're definitely they're definitely really risky and controversial and scary, and I think kids will be crying. I think <laughs> they're emotional. Other than someone dying, we should also just say that someone comes back too. Someone comes back, and someone makes out with the someone who comes back. <laughs> Woo! That's all I'll say. <laughs> Finally. Hey, real quick, did you see? Uh, did you see the Degrassi name drop on Saturday Night Live last weekend? Um. Yes, Lauren and I had just uh, got back from New Jersey, and we were in her hotel room watching TV, oh. and we were watching SNL, and the Weekend Update came on. And and uh, my Rudolph's like, oh my god, have you been watching Degrassi on the end? And me and Lauren, like, it was such a like, such an odd moment. We we froze, and then like I grabbed her hand, and we were both sitting on the bed, and like we looked at each other, and we were like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and we just like were in shock, and like we kept looking at the TV, but we missed like the rest of the update, and we were just like, oh my god, and then Lauren ran to her phone and text messaged to Damo, and I got on my sidekick and emailed uh, Steph, who's like in, who works at Epitome at Degrassi, and I was like, oh my god, we were just on Weekend Update, like this is so cool, SNL, like it was such a funny moment because we saw it, and we were supposed to, we were gonna go that night to try and get. Um, tickets to to watch it oh my but um we could only it didn't really work out so we didn't go but we were thinking like what if we had been there <laughs> would have, i would have screamed i would have stood up i would have screamed i would have been like anusa thank you <laughs> We were so excited. Because they're totally, someone in the audience like went like, woo, or something. There was one person Yeah, I who heard clapped. someone. <laughs> one person clapped. It was probably me. Like, <laughs> my, my scream just went across the whole city and everyone could hear it. Oh my God, it's so cute. All right. All right, Thank Stacey. you, Stacy. Good luck Thank with you. that, Professor. Oh, uh, thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. Happy holidays. If I'm not on the show next year, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stacy. Yeah, have a good thanks. long weekend. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Ha happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. See ya. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Poor Stacy. <laughs> she's going to flunk out. She's totally going to flunk out. Her life is over. No, she's Her life not. is Stop ruined. She's, that. It's done. It's over. Think positive. She no that that professor's just like trying to put the fear of God into her. She'll yeah. be fine. Mm -hmm. Just like she wanted to do a reality show. <laughs> she, yeah. <laughs> she just needs to cry. Um, It'll take care of her. She's gonna talk to her professor. But the Mary said that you were just trying to scare me. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't have told her that. <laughs> All right, so uh, so yeah, normally this is when we would be giving away an autograph script, but we gave away all the autograph scripts, so we're not doing that this week. So instead, uh, we should mention the Give Some, Get Some giveaway, which is this big giveaway that we're doing next weekend, which should appease 
all the people who wanted to win scripts but didn't actually it, it won't appease them all but it'll help because <laughs> it's cool it's it's all it's four weeks long the deal is you can bid on stuff from degrassi and instant star and south of nowhere and beyond the break and then at the same time if you don't have money to bid on stuff you can enter sweepstakes to win lots of prizes i mean I, there's things like we're giving away like 50 iPods and like oh. a whole and sets of Degrassi DVD box sets and DVD players and oh, all this right. stuff that you can get for nothing just entering the sweepstakes. And if you actually want to give money and bid, you can think get things like you can get Manny's Spirit Squad uniform and oh. um, uh, the uh, the the Nicole Miller dress that uh, that that Alex Johnson wore in uh, an episode of Instant Star. Oh, hot! Um, Aiden's car wash pants. People are going to want the Aid- Aiden's car wash pants. <laughs> I don't know why that just made me get a little nauseous, but um, <laughs> they were dry clean. They were dry clean. Con. Okay, all right, good. Uh, uh, but the money is not just like going to some big greedy. Oh, oh, uh, end, uh, right? it's going to me. It's okay. uh, no, it's going to charity. I forgot about that part. Yeah, each week the winning bids go to a different charity. Um, the first week it's going to an organization called Oceana that works to save the oceans. And that's the Beyond the Break week, so it ties right. in there because surfing is done in the ocean. Oh, that's why it's been so hard. <laughs> I was doing it in the mountains. <sighs> <All right. laughs> but anyway, so that's uh, that starts this uh, this coming week. Okay. All right, Mary. Happy Thanksgiving to Happy you and yours. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I hope it is, will be, and was good. And happy shopping. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Cool. All right. I'll talk to you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.